Some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? I mean, look at the nice guys on business. They're like their own little think tank. Need an education on how to grow your business? The nice guys are here to help. Learn about great customer service, networking, and how just being nice can help you prosper. Now, here are your hosts, Doug Sandler and Strickland Bonner. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm not supposed to say ladies and gentlemen. No, that's all right. But we're at we are at the uh, DC Podfest, so you actually can say anything that you want here. This is kind of cool. This is like a this is like a fucking professional setup. I mean, what the hell is going on here, Strick? This is much different than what we would normally get. You wanted to make sure and break the explicit rating within the first ten seconds of the episode. I, well, I thought it was important. We have this whole big crowd behind us. Is it? Is it turn, is it turn around? Is there a crowd behind us? There will be soon. I think they just finished a, a breakout <laughs> session. But yes. In fact, they're all standing. Yes, the theater of the mind. Yes, we've got hundreds of people looking out, watching us do our thing right now. So I realized that after we did our our speech, you know, early today. Yeah. That um, as I was coming out and talking to a whole bunch of people i realize that we actually don't know anything about podcasting <laughs> and we have 240 fucking episodes that we have done how is that possible we got to start over we're uh, just going to get rid of all of them and start over again you know like the guy that's at the uh, at the door in vegas that just keeps clicking you know the yeah, one yeah. that clicks like the button when you walk through the door you mm-hmm. know one two three so we're up to 240 do we just go, go back to zero is that a little thing that spins on the side that you go back to zero you know fuck it let's just delete it and start everything i mean you know anybody that's listening right now you're not allowed to listen anymore we're gonna start over uh, so we actually have to go back to zero with everything yes do we need a new audience mm, apparently kind of like etch a sketch we just shake <laughs> we give it a good shake, shake, I like shake it. the audience and they disappear i like that i like that a lot so we are here at dc podfest we've not introduced ourselves i am strickland bond Honor, on the other side of the microphone, or actually on the other microphone right next to me today, as opposed to across the county, Mr. Doug Sandler, we I, are the nice guys on business. I am so not used to seeing you, and actually, the more I'm seeing you now, the more I'm actually repulsed by actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's going I really, on? I like it much better when you're at your house and I'm at mine, and I don't have to look at your ugly face. There is, there is one difference though. Where I usually am wearing my pajamas or nothing at all, <laughs> <laughs> which is exactly why I like not seeing you. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so we're here. We've, um, we've seen a lot. We've heard well, yeah, a lot. Yeah, so the DC PodFest is basically a podcasting convention type of thing. Convention. That's the wrong word. It's like a get-together. It's a conference. Conference. That's the better word, yes. I, uh, I wasn't sure what to expect, but now that we're here and we know that there are many professionals in this business, I'm more convinced that we should not be doing this anymore. <laughs> We're getting all kinds of interesting information, which hopefully will help us do better than we've been doing before. All right. So the question is, though, we're recording an episode right now. Do we have any idea where it actually goes to? You mean where the physical episode goes or what we're going to talk about today? No. Well, I don't know what we're going to. We never know what we're going to talk about. So why would today be any different than any any other day? Uh, I have no idea. What's those cards over there? Can you grab me one of those cards, Doug? Yeah. Because you see where it's actually going. We have a sponsor today. It would be New Media Studios because they're helping us do our recording today. Is Justin actually sitting across from us right now? Is that Justin? Justin, would you come on? Can you say hi, Justin? Yeah, come on the show with us. How's it going, guys? Thanks oh, for bringing me on why here. Why does his voice sound better than ours? <laughs> because he's a professional. <laughs> so I'm also on about my uh, ninth episode today. Oh, so so, so he's right. got the, like the vocal cords are warmed up. Oh, there you go. That's what we're talking about. That would be NewMediaRecordingStudio.com in Trevos, Pennsylvania. That they would have be, an incredible that would be, studio. Just so you know, that's Trevos, Pennsylvania. But Trevos? It's, it's fine. Like a primer? Justin, help me out here. Yeah, it's, it's Trevos. It's Trevos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Once, once again, uh, this is the, probably the first time I've ever been right about a word. Justin? <laughs> lives there i'll believe him okay hey, so justin so you work with this with this company new media so just so you're aware as you're as you're discussing this with our nice guy community who is our audience right. um, we have no other podcasters that listen so is there anything that you can do to help them um yeah no, no. yeah definitely okay yeah, yeah. so you sell so. drugs also because <laughs> <laughs> no so so pretty much what it is we we set up a studio you know we're podcasters ourselves and we were like you know Philadelphia is a hotbed for podcasts, for those of you that don't know. I uh, dated a girl once that had a hotbed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a topic for a completely different show All that different you and show. I can start on the side. <laughs> so we'll I keep think Strick might have a lot to contribute to that show at some point in his life. He was, he was uh, you know, before he got married, I, there's a lot I, of stories that circulate. I was single for a lot of years, yes. Yeah. yes. The Bachelor Files. <laughs> So it, it, what's really interesting about this is Justin is actually, this is what he does. I mean, he makes money from podcasting. And we... in We don't. Don't. <laughs> so Justin, any, could you give us any advice? Just help. The number one thing that I tell 
everybody that comes in to record before they even step on a mic. All right. You need to get a consistent distribution schedule because if people don't know when to listen, they can't listen. Strick, with 365 days a year, is that too much to commit to up front, you think? No, no. I think what Justin's saying is if you say you're going to put an episode out on Monday, it has it to be every Monday. It needs Monday. to go out Monday. So we're 240 in. Do we Have we done that? Yeah. I think so. All right. What totally. else do we need to do? Because can we just check that off our list? We got that. Yeah. We're, we we're got five that days a week right okay. now. We do Monday through Friday. Oh, we, wow. And we do a Monday and Friday interview. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are the two of us shooting the shit. And Sunday is just me in the shower. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so the Sunday edition, uh, we <laughs> yeah, should consider uh, canning that. that. Yeah, let's um, that but no, I'm kidding. So, uh, so what are you guys doing on social media? You guys on Instagram, Facebook, he's the, Twitter. He's a social media I'm on, guy. I'm on Twitter at DJ Doug. He is at Nice Guy on Biz. Uh, but I do all most of the social media outreach. So we usually take our show notes and or, or our show links, and we usually put a creative spin on it and post it on Twitter a couple of times a day. Um, what else do I do? I give it to all of the guests. We inter- do interviews Mondays and Fridays. So our Monday and Friday shows we end up sending to our guests. Hopefully they're promoting it too. That uh, that was gonna be my next thing. Your guests. What? what just so what's going on? Was that uh, your equipment? They're breaking yeah. the place down. That that uh, I don't know. That's why I'm glad that we're on this side, <laughs> not over there. That was something very serious going yeah, down here. Yeah, and now there's all sorts of people walking in that direction. <laughs> like, like, hey, do we need to go look? What's going on? Is no, we this don't. place falling this is, down? The show must go on. No, so. yeah, the show must. As go long on. as there's nobody running in the other direction, I feel safe. Right. Okay. See, see, the best thing is that we are the closest to the door. Exactly. So if it goes down, I'm leaving my computer behind. <laughs> we are at the Wonder Bread Factory. So maybe it was a whole bunch of Wonder Bread going mm, down. Could be, but that would be really quiet, <laughs> wouldn't it? That's true. Yeah. It would just be like this. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> that would be all it is. Okay, so we got the we got the Twitter thing going. Yes, we don't do anything Facebook, on Instagram. We have a Facebook, we Facebook group. We have a Facebook community. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else do we have? We that's have about it. social media. So we got our social media outreach. We promote with the guests, and we um, and that's it. Hey, more suggestions? Keep. Uh, the, they're the biggest things that I tell everybody. You know. Get guests that people want to listen to because if they have a big following or if people even just like listening to them, they're going to tune in and it's going to be the snowball effect. So That's true. just keep just keep getting guests. Hey, you know who we have on the show on Monday? Hmm. You know, Sandra Lamorghese, you know, the dominatrix from New York. You're saying we have it on Monday, but this episode is not going to air until after Sandra's Oh, no. Airs. So we've already aired it. Probably, yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Do you I? do not. You, you do well, not. That would, why would today be any different than exactly. any other day? So we got so yeah so how was that episode? It was amazing. <laughs> it the was the whole great. dominatrix thing, I loved it. What I haven't heard it yet. Is this yes, going sure to air? Is this going to be Tuesday's episode? If somebody actually reaches out to us and says, "Hey, we love you guys," so Justin, we got to let you know what happened. On we do three episodes a week that is just the two of us, and on our last episode, we are doing a mastermind next week. Tuesday and Wednesday. I and heard Doug's, from a lot of people. Actually, uh, Sean, not a lot. Okay, let me just get down to Sean it. Sean doesn't count. Sean, I heard from Sean. We're doing a mastermind All right. Monday and Tuesday next week. Uh, and so what's from happening Mar is, and Prosh. Mar and Prosh said uh, there are they regulars. don't count I said it's got to be somebody that's not a regular. Nobody knew. Tim Hill said don't leave us. So Tim Hill, he's actually a new guy. It almost counts. Okay, that's true. So we got Tim, Sean, Can I Sean, explain Mar- this to Justin oh, sorry, before you sorry, actually yeah. just keep rambling okay. about it? He has yeah. no idea what you're talking about. All right, fine. So on our last episode on Thursday, we basically said, guys, we're going to be busy next week. Tuesday and Wednesday, and there's photographer. You want to turn that way, Doug, as you pick your nose. Hi. I wasn't picking my nose. Yeah, you, he didn't see that because you were facing <laughs> me, all right? So on our Thursday show, we basically said we're going to be really busy next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Are we going to record an episode because right. we're going to be doing our mastermind? And we, basically we said, you know what? Let's let the listeners decide. If you guys care enough about the Tuesday and Wednesday episodes, you need to reach out to us. You need to either tweet or go on, go on the Facebook okay. page or call us and go, we love you. We want a Tuesday and Wednesday episode we know you're working hard but please take the time to do a Tuesday and Wednesday episode nobody but if nobody reaches out then we're not oh, doing I it I can't call those four people nobody They're the certain- episode was just, just came out today though so we gotta give people a couple days okay See now, but you're right. The regulars don't count. Justin, so normally a marriage counselor would step in well before this. <laughs> uh, uh, the thing is, I'm us. sitting here like, do I mediate it or do, <laughs> or do I just keep back and enjoy the entertainment? <laughs> but the one thing, is, if you're doing a show five days a week, there is one thing I would say: you got to be careful with oversaturation. See, I've thought about that too. All right, Justin. Now, here's a great question. Now, we do Monday and Friday interviews. Yes. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is the two of us shooting the shit. I suggested at one point, why don't we split it to two separate podcasts? We'll have one that is the interview podcast. We'll keep the same days, right? And Doug's concern was, 
let's say we're going to split one of them off. We have our audience, right? And let's say we make the interview show the new one, right? So what if we lose, like we split our audience? Will we lose we people? Lose people? I, what, what do you think? think? I mean, I don't think that you would because you're not really, like you're staying on the same schedule so the people that are listening are staying on the same listening schedule just they're listening to a different show so i but I, what's the benefit though you do a tuesday you do a monday friday interview and well, we still have the monday friday interview i think the benefit would be that we would find out what people like and what yeah. they don't like like right now we get about the same number of downloads for the interview shows and and our shows but i think that's because people just subscribe and then forget about it right like they may not listen to the interviews or they may not listen to the tuesday wednesday thursday show they just download it because they subscribe and it's easy that is one plus that you will see what you know, drives you know the people to listen to your show. Is it your guests with your interviews, or is it you two? So, in other words, you together? say you say call Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just the nice guys. Yeah, and on, and on Monday, and Friday, the nice guys on business. No, no, no. I well, we're, we still talk business Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We just don't talk as much business. We could be the nice guys on business, and we can be the nice guys on business interviews. Justin, uh, I I'm I, I <laughs> actually going to, be, to tend to agree with them. I I think that that could definitely be an avenue that you guys should consider exploring Strickland, there I would are say podcasts that, that do different versions of the yes. you probably know better than me right yes. like yes. here's the name of the podcast and now here was the the spinoff but it still has the same core name yes. so you know who it is right yeah so we we record this one podcast uh it accompanies uh, a guy's blog and he has a very large readership for his blog so he used to have a segment within the episode of his podcast called the comment section where he would read whatever some of the wildest comments okay, on some right. of his posts were well it got to a point that that sec that segment was becoming bigger than the show, so he launched a completely separate show called the Comment Section. So on one, he talks like his you know his blogging and whatnot, what he does with that, and then the other show, it's all he does is read comments and tweets and Facebook messages that he gets sent. It'd be interesting because that way we could keep the same website, right? We got the nice guys on business, but we got the nice guys on business and then we have the interview show. It's still all under the umbrella of the nice guys on business, but then we could really find out what people like and don't like. From a technical standpoint, I'm going to let you run with it. Well, all we need is like a separate RSS feed and it'd be really the same thing. There you go. You start dropping all that technical stuff. RSS feeds are very simple. RSS feeds are very simple. He's just showing off for you, Justin. (laughs) I know what's going on here. He's going to say something like, what else? Give me another one. Give me another term. Okay, so Justin, we are right now with Libsyn, right? Right. Okay. And the amount of content that we have, we're on basically the $50 a month plan. Right. Um, we've been seeing ads for Podbean. What do you know would be the disadvantage of us switching to Podbean and saving $40 a month because it's unlimited bandwidth? Uh, I'm, now, I'm going to preface that by saying, <laughs> let New Media Studios provide your RSS feed ah. for you. Uh, we, we create our own RSS feeds from, from the ground up. I don't know what an RSS feed is. So, you know... That would be my first thing. Secondly, uh, Libsyn is, you know, if you're not New Media Studios, Libsyn is the way to go. Podbean, uh, I am beyond unsatisfied with their analytics. Their back-end analytics is comical at best. Really? Yes. Very interesting. I, so da- what, I dated specific? a girl that had a back-end that was unsatisfied. Comical at best? Comical at best. <laughs> and what, so I, might have, I might have actually been married to her. <laughs> <laughs> What exactly? Not about now. Their not now. That was my first wife. What exactly is not good about their analytics? Uh, th- they're incomplete. So, for example, if you record an episode, say it's, say it's a half hour long, you need more than fifty percent of the audio listened to in one sitting. So, if that person listens to ten minutes of that thirty minute episode and then stops, you don't get a listen for that. Really? That's Wait, very does that mean you don't get a download? Yeah. If they don't listen to at least 50% of it up front. Now, that is strictly Podbean's, you know, you know, way that they do it. Now, is it if they, let's, so let's say I've got a subscriber, right? And they download it. Like, I automatically get the download whether they listen or not, right? Or is that not the case with Podbean? Like not the case actually, with Podbean. So, so somebody could download 10 episodes, but Podbean, if they don't listen, like, you don't get counted as yeah. a, wow. Isn't, isn't, Pod, Pod, isn't Podbean here? I, I have no idea. I think that, I've, I've been recording all day. I have no, <laughs> yeah, I have yeah, no idea who's they're, here. They're one of the sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the thing about Podbean is that it's the, you know, for lack of a better term, the elementary version of podcasting. It's for the, it's Podbean is that's for the I, beginner. Right, it's for I'm, the people I'm that, that, that kind of want everyone to, to do the heavy lifting for them. I just want to come in and record. It gives you much less flexibility because, you know, they, 
use the fact that they're the third party you're going through to kind of strong arm you into doing what they want to do as far as providing what they want to provide. Whereas Libsyn, they're, they're, if you're not with New Media Studios, go with Libsyn. Okay, so now we're totally on a topic that probably none of our listeners give a shit about because not many second. of them are podcasters, but... When did you actually ever care about what our listeners thought about? True, good point. <laughs> I mean, good that point. is part of the promise statement is that we are going to deliver a podcast experience that is... Entertaining adds, and, and adds educational value to and their adds life. value to your life. Right, and, and we're doing that from not having that one single line in front of us, just so you know. True, so we're going to have the sponsor today, New Media Studio, tell us about why we should have the RSS feed with them. Because we, number one, give you a upload package uh, that is so big that I really highly doubt that you guys will ever hit that per month. And just so you know, I dated a guy in college. So. <laughs> <laughs> an upload package. Um, what does so, that mean exactly? Well, cause what, okay, so let me explain that one real quick because this is how we got where we are. Libsyn, is, there's a $10 a week. Actually, it's probably like a $5 a month package, right? But yeah, then yeah. there's a $10 a month package and then we had so many episodes that we had to go to the $20 a month and then the $40 a month. And we're now at $50 a month because we're doing five episodes a week and it's yeah. so much content Got every it. month okay. that we need more so how am i going to save money and do better with new media so we give you massive 800 megabits per week and charge ten dollars a month for it so i have a really hard time believing you guys are uploading 3200 i don't know what we're doing. megabytes no i doubt it uh, I, least, honestly that, i don't know what the size is that's that's literally doing like a five hour show every day. No, uh, we don't do that. Yeah, so, do that. you know, we, our, we could. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, our limits, you'll probably never hit the limit that we give you, number one. Secondly, we can provide you way more accurate stats. We can get to within 30 seconds of when your downloaded episode gets paused or they shut it off. So, we can tell you, you know, at minute, you know, 9 30, 10 people start, you know, began. Are we looking to know that? This is getting ridiculously interesting. He, he doesn't like all the techie shit, right? Should I just go to, get something to drink? <laughs> I'll come back. Look, like, okay, so with Libsyn, you've seen the Libsyn numbers, right? We can see how many downloads we have. We can see where they're from, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. Uh, and we can see where they come from. We can like see to, if it's I'd iTunes like or whatever. But I mean, you can actually tell us how long people are listening. Yes. When they stop listening. Yes. On average That's or each so one. Cool. On average, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's on, important. On, 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 on average, per episode. That's so every episode, will, you know, we can provide you with different numbers. And what we do for all of, you know, all of our podcasts that are on there, you get an email Monday morning with your previous week's analytics from me. Okay, so we can go and listen to episodes. And can, can you tell when people are like skipping through stuff or just how long they listen? No, just how long they listen. Okay, well, that's still okay. That's still tons more information we get for. If we start looking at it, I mean... We how can, is that okay? So how is that helping us? So we can tell, not just by the downloads, we can tell how much people are listening. So it could be that also, they download but don't listen to the interview shows, or download and don't listen to us. You can also tell, you know, if you guys have a certain segment that you do at the same time every episode, all of a sudden people are tuning no, out. Justin, no, that, that would, would take be way too organized. No, and yeah. Too yeah. much yeah. planning. We no. don't have all right, any no. of that. No. We'll, we'll forget That's I said that. Our normal episodes. They're about like this all the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Every day. Every day. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. Please continue. Yeah, yeah. So, well, uh, you can, you know, if you do a certain, you know, inter- say you do uh, an interview at, you know, minute 15 of every episode. Right. And you notice that about minute 14, you're getting way more people logging. Well, you know, interviews are the way to go and vice versa the other way around. So we can find out that when we do the interview shows, if people start listening at 10 minutes, they don't want to hear our long, boring intros. They just want to hear the interview. Or if they stop at 10 minutes, all they want to hear is I'm the gonna intro. I'm going to let you make all the decisions when it comes to anything that we have to do okay. with the technical stuff. I, I just don't even, I don't even follow, I, sir, I don't even know why that's important. You know, I do know that the number is important to, to us is why do we have 93% of our downloads are through Overcast and we have like 4% through iTunes. I just, yeah. yeah. Did any, any. So what we do is you can actually download directly from us too. So they can go to new media studios, go to nice guys on business Go to episode 241, which we're recording right That's now. That's kind of like Lipson. Lipson yep. does that and too. And download directly from us. Right. Boom. And then we will say, listen, this person downloaded it from this device using this, you know, so, so we can tell you they downloaded it from Safari. No, they downloaded it from Mozilla. No, they downloaded it from Chrome. No, they downloaded it on their phone. Or from Overcast, right. 
So what do we lose? What's different? Anything? Like if no. I decide today we're going to switch from our Libsyn RSS feed. I feel to, like I'm buying a car. To yours. <laughs> I, I know, think right? I'm about to buy a car here. Uh, it, I'm not so in charge. You are. So, so we, don't, we don't lose anything. No. So what we do is to, to prevent you guys from losing anything, we, in addition to hosting all your future episodes, we take all of your backlogged episodes and upload them as well. So that way, when listeners go to subscribe, your fee's not broken and they don't lose all past content. That way, you'll be able to keep everything status quo going into the future and people won't be like, well, how come episode, you know, episodes from October aren't there anymore? Because you broke the feed by bringing in a new feed. Well, how does that work with our... Because uh, we don't really have... We use my... DougSandler.com website for that too. Is there a website that yeah, we should be Yeah, but your DougSandler.com really, it goes back to the Libsyn right now. Like, you don't actually physically... No, no, I... Yes. You, do you physically download an MP3 and put it no, on No, no. Right, I, so when no. somebody clicks on your website right. and it says play the podcast... I've downloaded to... I've installed on on my app on my podcast I'm sorry I've installed on my website a uh, HTML right and that's the feed so right. basically that would get changed over to new media studios right gotcha. now it points to Libsyn right yes. how would we how would we do that on the uh, all of my code that's back to the 240 episodes how does that handle so what we would do is uh, our programmer is world class he has a he is a brain that uh, it's a hard for me to communicate with. It's him. a very large brain. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's the he, kind he, that sits yeah. usually in a glass. Yeah, yeah. He, right? he's, he's he's something else. So what he does, he does all of our coding. He will code you out a beautiful RSS feed, newmediastudios.com slash nice guys on business slash episodes dot RSS. A nice, beautiful, customizable feed. You do whatever you want with that. Boom. What we do is then we take uh, Jeff creates code for you to embed into your like we'll give you your own custom code to embed within the website I wonder what happens to all those episodes that I have on my website right now though well so that would be the question the, the stuff that is there already so let's say each one and again I know a bit about RSS feeds but not a ton yeah. right so the ones that are there is it a it's not a single RSS feed in other words it's got the tag for each individual episode yes. right so yeah. we have 240 individual links that are yes RSS feed, but then this episode, that episode, the other episode. So, will we be able to update them as a group, or will they need to like individually cut and paste the, a new RSS for each of them? No. What it will do is the our code that we'll give you will be automatic updating. See, that's what I like to hear: automatic updating. We have to. I don't know how even that would work because <laughs> they wouldn't have access to my website to do that. No, it we, has to we, be the, on the, the back end. Yeah, the coding that we would give you is set to automatically update. So when the feed updates, your website will update with the feed that we give you. Gotcha. Big brains. Okay. Did you ever watch Pinky and the Brain? No. Yes. No. Yeah. See, on the cartoons... Was that in the 90s? I missed the 90s. Yeah. It was. It was totally... Yeah, right. I missed the 90s. Animaniacs, so it's like... Busy. I was yeah. very busy getting married <laughs> so and trying to make a gonna, living. What are we going to do today, Brian? Same thing we do every day, Pinky. Try to take over the world. And... That's going to be the next Steve O'Brien. That's in the next list. Oh, that's it's, a good one. <laughs> Steve O'Brien is going to say, what are we going to do today? That's our voiceover guy. We'll Same thing that. we do every day. Try to take over the world. Oh, and listen to the Nice Guys on Business podcast. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I think we've taken a lot of Justin's time. No, I think we have too. And we've lost every one of our listeners in the every process. Every one of our <laughs> listeners who is not a podcaster, which is probably most of them. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Nice Guy community, never underestimate the power of nice. Special thanks to our guest, Justin Emery from uh, Trevos, Pennsylvania. Yes. Uh, new Media Studios. Um, our sponsor today and maybe our new RSS feed. Very interesting. Steve O'Brien, go ahead and take us out of here. Call 4242-DJ-DUG and record an intro for the show to hear on a future episode. Say anything you want. Hell, take my job. I'm getting sick of these guys anyway. We still rolling? Don't tell him I said that. <laughs>